Shumai and welcome to Digital School Wales. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to use Adobe Creative Cloud Express to create printable PDF worksheets. Now, although my favorite thing to do here at Digital School Wales is create resources for you to use with your pupils in class, this one is especially for you teachers to help you to create your own digital worksheets, either to print off via PDF, or as I'll show you later on in the video, how to import that PDF file into J2PDF, which is a part of Just Too Easy through Hub, so that your students can use that PDF worksheet digitally as well. Right, let's jump in and create this worksheet. Open Adobe Creative Cloud Express. So here in Wales, of course, we log into Hub and then we click on the Adobe Creative Cloud Express shortcut. Once Adobe Creative Cloud Express is open, click on the plus icon here. And we're going to choose custom size graphic because if we're going to be printing these worksheets, you're going to want it to be an A4 size. So on this window, we're going to choose print and then we're going to select A4 and click next. Now when the worksheet appears, the templates panel will automatically open. And what you're going to do is you're going to search there in the search for worksheets. And you'll see an absolute load of worksheets loading up. Now these are just the first worksheets in every category. You can see here you've got colouring, writing, science, etc. So if you want more maths activities, you can just click view all and there'll be even more there for you to choose from. So once you've chosen the worksheet you want to use, just click on the worksheet and it will load it up onto the editor for you to tweak it. So if you wanted to change any text, you can do that of course. If you wanted to add your school logo, that's easy to do just by uploading it from the photos panel and choosing upload photo. Or if you've got a brand set up, you could click on logos and bring in your logo automatically from there. Once you're happy with your worksheet, make sure to name your project by clicking up here where it's called my project and type in a sensible file name. To download that, click on download and in this window it's important that you choose PDF and click start download. That PDF file is then going to download and it's going to park it at the bottom of your Chrome window. As you can see here, there it is ready for me to use. But what about repurposing this worksheet for a different worksheet? How about a worksheet on musical instruments? So let's duplicate this project by clicking on the three dots, duplicate. And this new one is going to be called instruments. And click duplicate. So now, once this is finished, you'll see we're now working on the instruments worksheet. And you can see the file name up at the top here. So. What are we going to do? Well, these are just icons. What I'm going to do first is delete all of these icons for the creatures. And then I'm going to replace them with musical instruments by clicking on the icons panel. I'm going to search for instruments. And then I'm going to just click on instruments from this icons panel, add them to the page, resize them and move them around. Once you're happy with the icons, let's change the title. And how about changing the color scheme from the original worksheet? So I'm going to click on colors and then scroll down, choose a different color palette. And then I'm going to use this shuffle button here. Change the color of the background. And there we go. I've just created a really quick second worksheet based on that first one from the templates. Once again, I'm going to click download, make sure that I choose PDF and then start the download. And there we go. It's as simple as that. Your PDF is finished. You can just click on that link at the bottom of the Chrome window and you can print that straight off and hand it out to your pupils. But 
What about using that PDF worksheet in a digital format? By using just Too easy through Hub, we can use J2PDF to upload any PDF file, which will automatically turn that into an editable worksheet using J2E5. So let's have a look at how that's done. From the Hub homepage, click on Just Too Easy, and here we are on J2 Launch. Search for the red J2 PDF tile and click on it. Now the PDF loading window will appear and you can just simply drag and drop your worksheet from the bottom of Chrome onto the middle of this PDF loader. And here we go. Your PDF worksheet is now open in J2E5, ready for you to save and share with your pupils through the class files on My Files. As you know, once the pupils have got anything in J2E5, they can just click anywhere, type in their answers, and if they want to save their work, they can just click on save, give it a title, and click save. And that's safe in their My Files now too. There we are, that's it for this video. If you'd like a free PDF guide explaining the differences moving from Adobe Spark to the new Creative Cloud Express, then click on the link under the video or follow the URL which is at the bottom of the screen now. Also, if you've got the time, please leave a comment on the video telling me what you'd like to see in future videos. Thank you for your time, I really appreciate it and I hope I'll see you in the next video.